Elon Musk says his Neuralink brain chip startup has put an implant in a human patient for the first time. Musk said Sunday that the patient is recovering well and that, quote, initial results show promising neuron spike detection. Spikes are activity by neurons, which use electrical and chemical signals to send information around the brain and to the body. It's been a bumpy road for Neuralink to reach this point. The company, valued at around $5 billion last June, has faced calls for closer scrutiny of its safety protocols. Reuters reported earlier this month that the company was fined for violating federal rules on the movement of hazardous materials. Last November, lawmakers requested an investigation into whether Musk had misled investors about the safety of its technology, after veterinary records showed problems with implants on monkeys, including paralysis, seizures, and brain swelling. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration cleared the company to conduct its first human trial last year. Neuralink says the study uses a robot to surgically place a chip in a part of the brain that controls the intention to move, and that their initial goal is to enable people to control a computer cursor or keyboard with their thoughts alone. Musk said on X that Neuralink's first product would be called telepathy, and that, quote, initial users will be those who have lost the use of their limbs. Sort of like Musk has said its chips could one day be used to treat conditions um, like obesity, autism, said, depression, and schizophrenia. Uh, Neuralink did not immediately respond to a Reuters request for further details. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, by Shem Rakak, Wadaj, and double honor to the apostles and others, great Nelson's teaching his truth that's gone all around the earth. Shalom to the hopeful elect. And uh, this is your brother, Atazawan Bayab. And, uh, just real quick on this lesson, okay, we saw the first clip, right, of what Elon Musk has accomplished, all right, with his brain chip. And, uh, you know, over the last couple of years or so, you know, you've heard the men of the Lord, you know, bring this out and talk about it and um, go into the scriptures and, and show it to you, all right, that the development of an RFID, right, the C-HIP, will be used, okay, by this man to bring about signs and wonders, all right, bring about miracles, okay, and we saw that, uh, saw that clip, right, that talked about it in the news, and here you find on the New York Post, all right, an article on it. And we'll just read through it. Pretty much it's probably going to be about the same as what you heard in the beginning. But nonetheless, we'll we'll, we'll put it up, you know, in, in the lesson. And, and, and people can go out there, brothers and sisters, if you feel the need to do so, you can go out there and you can read about this. But here it says Elon Musk announced that his human tech startup, Neuralink, has inserted a chip implant into the brain of its first human subject. Okay, and, and this whole idea that he has about causing crippled uh, people who have spinal conditions or spinal injury, suffered spinal injury, severed spinal cords, right, through these uh, chips that he's inserted into their, their heads, all right, their brains, right, can uh, cause them to walk, okay, and various other applications for the chip, okay, are coming soon, you would imagine, all right, but here it goes on, it says the billionaire said the person had the chip surgically implanted into their brain on Sunday and are recovering well. Initial results show promising neural spike detection, Musk wrote on X, the social media he owns. All right, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration last year green light or green lit human trials of the company's brain chips after Neuralink performed hundreds of tests on pigs, sheep, and monkeys and were called out for animal abuse by animal rights groups in the process. Yeah, <clears throat> and if people complained about it, I mean, the man continued to go on with it. So, you know, when you have enough money and influence, Okay, um, as they say, you know, money talks, 
and bullshit runs a marathon. All right. Going on, it says, uh, the last two years have been all about focus on building a human-ready product. Neuralink co-founder DJ Sales told Bloomberg News in November it's time to help an actual human being. Okay. And then it goes on, but uh, you can go on and read that if you feel like it. Like, like I said in that first news clip, okay, it goes into it. All right, and I'm not going to be real long with this lesson. Okay, and uh, at the very end, we're going to watch another clip. The brother put a clip of, uh, I think the man's name was Carl, Carl Sanders, who actually was on the team that developed all right, uh, microchips way back when. Okay, and we'll, I'll put that at the end because it's about six minutes long, you know, if you you want to watch it you can but you can also go out there on youtube and find it all right so we'll get a couple of scriptures and then uh that'll be that this is revelation 13 16 we just get right to the point and it causes all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and you've heard us bring this out many many times okay and it should be clear to to those who watch now whether it be this channel, and that's really why I'm doing this. I've, I've watched other brothers and a couple of elders have already touched on this, but just for the sake of those that watch this channel, you know, I, through the Spirit, just decided to do a short lesson on it. And, um, you know, feel free to go out there, you brothers and sisters, feel free to go out there and watch all the other lessons that the brothers and elders have done, okay? <clears throat> but you've heard us bring this out many, many times, okay? And uh, matter of fact, let's look into this. We do this quite often, but it bears repeating, okay? Here you see the word, it says mark, and then you see this right here, which is charagma, all right? And it's the Greek word, and when you go into it through the Strong's, it tells you what? A scratch or etching stamp as a, ver uh, as a badge of servitude, see? All right, which is gonna be the whole purpose if anyone takes this mark. You have already decided who is going to be Lord or God over you, per se, all right? And it will be the system, okay? <clears throat> and you'll hear uh, Dr. Sanders go into that if you watch the video that I'm going to put right behind this lesson. So stay tuned after after the lesson is closed out. I'll put that clip. It's about six minutes. I'll just clip about six minutes out and I'll put it at the back of this. All right. So here it says stamp and imprinted mark. All right. So it's, it's, it's not sin. It's not sleeping with white women. It's, it's none of those things. It's not physical money or currency as some of these other people in other camps try to get you to believe, okay? That's not what it's talking about. It's talking about an actual mark, something that will go under the skin, all right? And this thing is real, okay? And it's already here. Going on to verse 17, and it says, and that no man, what, might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of the name, right? Number of his name, Salakia. And that's going into, once again, you giving up your right, basically, as a human soul, if you will, or spirit created by the Most High. And because you are more concerned about uh, living now, right? And enjoying your life and being able to get along in society that you choose this rather than you choose death right because you want to live and I've heard people say that you know uh, when they had the CD 19 going around right and people took it because it's like yeah, they're terrified that they were going to what die because they want to live here in Babylon the Great. They want to continue on, you see. 
But going on, we'll finish it out. It says, here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And his number is 603 score and six. And the, the portion of the video that I clipped out for uh, Dr. Sanders, he goes into uh, Sigma or, or Star Sigma, all right, for 666, okay? All right, so he'll go into that to show you what was meant by us, um, the 666, okay? And if we go over to Revelation 20, you'll find it again, all right, pretty much here in Revelation uh, 20 and 4, and it reads, And I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them, saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of Yahweh and which had not worshipped the beast right those that did not worship in this day and time whenever it becomes uh, mandatory or forced upon the peoples all right all across the world all right but we <clears throat> we think about it now and narrow it down you know, especially when it comes to the nation of Israel and uh, the bulk of the tribes being over here in the Western Hemisphere, right? And Babylon the Great, all right? For those who will not bow down, you know, uh, are subject to death, okay? Finishing it out, it says, uh, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Mashiach a thousand years, right? The elect of the Lord will not bow down to this image and, you know, um, some will be martyred, right? We don't know, we don't know, we don't know who, right? Some will, will, will get away, the Lord will give us a way to, to scramble, okay? And get away, however, however the Lord's got it planned out. You know, we, we can't we can't say for certain. All right. But obviously there will be some brothers, maybe some sisters who will, you know, give their life. Okay. I'm not gonna make this much longer. We'll just get this uh scripture and then uh, we'll close it out. And uh i like I said, I'll put that that other film uh clip at the very end of this, all right? So this is uh, Luke 21, and we'll jump in right here, verse uh, 29. And he spake to them a parable, right? To him, it, uh, so I could, he is Yahweh Shai and them, the disciples. Behold the fig tree and all the trees, where they are now shoot forth, you see and know of your own selves this summer, now nigh at hand, right? Because it goes into talking about all those things that will be seen in the last days, right? And we continuously say that we know that we are in the last of the last days by all these signs that are being shown, the, the signs in the heavens, the, the things that are going on in the earth with earthquakes and um, various different, what would, what would be considered weird weather patterns, okay, um, the, the love of many waxing cold, you know, uh, people uh, being deleted all over the place, okay, all these different things are going on, War, uh, wars and rumors of wars, okay, that's, that's going on, all of these are signs, okay, that, that the end is near, and the more that you see now with this guy, Elon Musk, and his company, Neurally, Right, uh, uh, implanting a, a, a chip in another human's brain. All right, it, it shows you that we are closer than even what you thought. Okay, verse thirty-one. So likewise, you when you see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of Yahweh is not at hand. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Verse 34, and take heed to yourselves 
Listen, anytime your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life, and see that the cares of this life, right? The partying, the reveling, the, the, the being over intoxicated, just oblivious to the, to the things that are going on around you, living a lifestyle like that, right? Is going to catch these people, right? They're gonna they're gonna line up to get this thing because they're gonna be uh, uh, out of their minds with trying to enjoy themselves here. You know, we were talking about this briefly on Sunday at camp, uh, me and a brother, and uh, you know, noticing how wherever you go, <laughs> these people are trying to make mirth wherever they go, but it's just so hard. They're forcing it. They're, they're forcing themselves to try to have a good time, you know, but you could clearly see that this place is, is over. It's done. Okay. But, but people are going to still carry on like they're just going to have a great time here. You know, and people are suffering, you know, um, the women are suffering. Okay. And they, they can't find jobs and the men ain't, hollering at them like they thought it would be, you know, just this whole idea of the American dream and you see what's going on on the border down there in Texas and, you know, hey man, this this place is finished. Okay? All right, let's finish this out. 34, verse 34. And, and take heed to yourselves, we said, anytime your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life and and so that day come upon you unawares, right? Okay, the day of the Lord come upon you unawares, man. You know, and that's what's that's what's uh, that's what's on deck. Okay, you know, but this this C hip, all right, and this this implant on the human, you know, is is big news, all right? These prophecies are, are coming to pass. And you have to be prepared, okay? And uh, so I'll end it right there, and uh, I'll have that clip right behind this in, in the last scripture, okay, uh, at the end of the uh, video clip, all right? So with that, I'll just close out right here and stay tuned, all right? All praise to the Most High, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, with Kak, with Dash, all right? Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Hey, I'll see you again real soon with another lesson, Bold Willow. Shalom. And charge that battery. This sounds like a lot of technical things coming together, but if you'll bear with me one minute, you'll see what God has laid out about this microchip. When we discovered that we needed to know, we needed to be able to charge that battery. I needed a temperature change, a change in temperature to cause current to flow through that little charging circuit that would charge the battery. So I began to, we began to investigate and find out where in the body does the temperature change the most rapidly. We spent over a million dollars in taxpayer money, and when the results came back, there were the information, uh, there was a lot of information. We divided it up amongst three teams, and then came back together with that information. It was determined that there were two places in the body that were ideal for the microchip. One was just below the hairline on the forehead. Every mother checks their child's temperature right here. So we could have paid the mothers a million dollars and saved a... I never saw a mother check their child's temperature on their ankle. Always right here. The other place was the hand, the right hand preferred, because most people are right-handed. This didn't bother me, and it didn't bother anybody else on the team. The hand seemed a good place. Nobody wanted it here. And so the design work, everything was completed, the microchip was done. You are seeing it now on some of the Discovery Channel presentations. Uh, uh, there are people who have received it already. It is real. It's not something that's Check coming that. way down the road. They gave me a Bible. They told me not to read the book of Revelation. They said the book of Revelation is uh, 
is too hard to understand. So I waited, and I didn't read the book of Revelation for quite some time. Then one day I came to Revelation 13, verse 16. And he causes us all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. I didn't like what I saw. I went back and looked up the word mark. I went to the Strong's Concordance, and I found that John had used three words for the word mark. Char, char, charagma, charakter, and charax. That was from the Greek. I looked at those words. They talked about a scratch or an etching. They talked about a lot of things. And I said, God, this isn't it. We didn't do it. He said, go to the word for 666. The word is chixastigma. In the Greek, it says to go to 4742 as a cross. The last half of the word chixastigma. And when I looked at what it said, it says, stizo, i.e. to stick, to prick, a mark incised or punched into for recognition of ownership. I thought about the little injection tool. The end of it is called an incisor. I began to weep and I began to cry and I said, oh God, what have we done? I couldn't believe that this lined up with what we had developed. And I began to run from God. I didn't run away from the church. I ran into the church. I tried to do as many things as I could to, to atone for this. But I want to tell you something. As God is my witness here tonight, this got in the way. Money got in the way. I had beautiful homes overlooking the lake. I had, a, I had all the things that I wanted. And I ran because of the money. My ability to go and get a quarter million dollars in research money took me away from telling the message. I ran for many years. What I want to tell you is that this is real. The microchip implant is real. Credit cards are failing. They, they can be counterfeited. The new smart card can be counterfeited. They can be stolen, they can be uh, lost, all kinds of things can happen to a card. But you cannot lose your hand. Very quickly they're going to move to this being in the hand. And I tell you as a Christian, you cannot take this. No matter what anybody says, God's Word says you cannot take it. No matter what they try to talk you into, God's Word says don't take it. In Revelation 14, verse 9, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast in his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints, here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus.